I don't have my MFA. You know, I don't have a college degree. I'm a dyslexic from Detroit. So oh. coming in and trying. Oh, like, I'm a dyslexic from North Dakota. Sh so shut up. Are you serious? You know, Are you serious? Kids, that is crazy. <clears throat> wow. Well, I mean, that explains so much. So did you know that this, you think in pictures then, don't you? I do. I can't. Yeah, I, that's I a, have a hard time thinking. Yeah. Sometimes. So that's what we do. So that's what dyslexics do. Like the way our brains are, right, are wired, we think in pictures. And you know, I write uh, books. I try to write a book and it was tough. <laughs> it was very, very tough. Like, I'm just like, I can't. This is so my my. The, the editor uh my first uh novella yeah. was like you should write screenplays because this sounds like a screenplay I'm like yeah <laughs> I'm a that's what i write screenplay so yeah it's it's very difficult and i think i i, I battled that my whole life yeah yeah well i mean but that's probably i mean that's one of the reasons why you're a killer filmmaker is because you have this superpower and i and i think <laughs> i think that's fantastic so yeah it is it really is i mean growing up as a kid you know i was in the in the in the class that you know the kid I was in the I was in the slow reading class. So the the kid next to me, um, you know, he had a severe disability. And then the other girl in the class, there's only three of us, and then the other girl in the class was the one that just flew in from China and didn't know English. And then it was me. And so we were all just sitting there trying to learn how to read. So um having gone through that, you have a, a have an appreciation or I would say a scrappiness about you that that gets you to a level of success that um, you have earned and really put in the, I, I hate to say it, the sweat equity. Um, and, 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 and it gives you a drive um, because you have to like constantly show like, this is what I can do. I didn't go to college. I don't have a degree to sit on. I am making these successes happen. Man, that is just, I well, have you know, no idea. I I'm, I sit at, I, you know, prior to COVID, I, you know, I would be at the, you know, having dinner with, with people that are executives of major television and film companies and asking myself the question of like, why, why am I sitting here? Like, I don't, like, these are all very well-educated, prestigious people. Yeah, because you, uh, you, uh, you, you, you earned your seat at that table, sir. You earned your seat at that table. And, and it's, 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 it's very challenging. So I, I look at, I look at everything that I do is like, I just want to get, I want to, sh I want to have forward movement. Nobody's going to give you permission. The second that I realized that nobody was coming to save me, I, I, that, that was the, the fundamental change in my life. Yeah. That there, there was nobody going to parachute in from, from Hollywood and, and give me a break and give me a chance. Um, you know, I had colleagues that I, I, I knew and I worked with and we worked together to try to get things going. And these are folks that had not only Oscars, but, you know, massive amounts of Emmys, worked on major shows. And you know what? Even though they're wonderful, wonderful people, very, very little could they do to physically help me get into yeah. the business. They could share their knowledge. They could share their experiences and they could pass on valuable, actually say invaluable um, uh, information to me. Yeah. That, that has helped me throughout my career, but not one of those folks could just say, oh, here's the door. I'm going to yeah. give you a shot, yeah. give you a break. It just doesn't happen for me. It hasn't happened for me. So I've had to create brick by brick everything that, it's, that's, that we have. Yeah. Well, guys like us don't have nepotism, right? So we don't have anybody that's going to open the door for us. We find mentors, right? We search them out. We drain them of every piece of knowledge they're willing to give us, right? But then in the end, you make yourself happen. And, and, and I preach that. I said, no one is going to make you succeed but you. Now, the one thing, the one big turning point, I would say, in my career, and this is going to sound weird, Kelly, but it's when I gave myself permission to succeed. No, and, it makes complete sense. Yeah. It absolutely. You know, that's, that's what we're talking about here. You, yeah. you made a decision to give yourself the opportunity that nobody else is going to give you. 